right, what's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. Uh, I'm gonna tell you like uh, some really good shit today, and I I encountered uh, this was one of the worst ones I've seen in a long time. And, uh, since I had this job assignment, where I do some of these job assignments, you move on to other ones, or and there it will if you have to go a few a few days or whatever. And one good thing is if you, shit gets too fucked up or weird, you can get notice, give notice somewhere and get the fuck out of there. And this is like what I wanted to tell you too about, you know how some stuff you don't want to, to say gang stalking, it's like gang stalking. There's another thing where my, this is a perfect example of gang slander that dovetails into there should be more stuff, not just gang stalking, it's gang slander, it's gang stalking. And one dude that I started you refer, making references to his name that did videos like with the gang stalking thing, he did talk about workplace mobbing. And like I, I uh, do uh, these different assignments or some, or some construction, but uh, e god damn. I mean, uh, for one thing, uh, my uh, stepdad and I had other relatives or different people that uh, worked in truck driving, but a lot of my assignments, which, uh, that's another thing that's weird, that people do this shit on purpose, I tell you the story. This assignment was supposed to be ongoing like for a week and then go on to the next month and maybe they used to even have you keep going. And there was supposed to be like all this work, it was a truck driving company and um, you're, paint, you're supposed to paint all this stuff and everything you get is a job description and there are some things you know i had friends both black and white that we talked with each other that things that aren't in the jobs to, uh, that are are in the they're supposed to be in the job description that are in the job description and there's shit that ain't in the job description and then there's shit that's supposed to be in the this one was the stuff that was in the job description that we were supposed to be doing was totally absent you know we did like they you know uh, and they wanted to have you keep it on coming back indefinitely too and I'm, they might want to make a case that somebody somewhere I guess too it's under somebody else's orders that they didn't really need us they had one I find out there was supposed to be all this work and there's this old man here and he's sneaking he told me he was sneaking and standing by uh, behind the building and smoking cigarettes and looking at his phone he goes, well, oh, uh, I was saying, what, what the fuck do they even need me for? I mean, there's hardly anything for you. And he's going, oh, I was here for a month, just damn near two months or whatever he said already. And uh, I've been just sneaking behind the building and doing little shit, vacuuming out the truck. And, uh, and I'm like, oh, they told me there was supposed to be like a shitload of, there was these things they put on trucks that were supposed to paint up. There's only maybe one, maybe two of them there. And, and I was end up uh, one day doing just cleaning uh, the parking, and it was some decent money for doing real easy shit. And I tell this guy, "Well, uh, damn! I mean, you were really swamped. I mean, you needed some help. You had so much of this nothing to do. You needed there was so much nothing you had that uh, I evidently you needed some help." And I guess they have some people. They wait, some people waste their money. Have somebody standing by where they're anticipating. Just trying to uh, before I'm rambling too much about explaining the culture in this. And well, anyway, then bear with me a little bit more. Then on that thing I did the second day, hardly nothing. This we just you know nobody cared. And then a couple trucks come up by. They're going to do maintenance. And I'm trying to tell you what I'm leading up to. Uh, I seen some people that were religious doing YouTube videos while they were in their trucks. There's some Christian truck drivers. There's some other people moderate beliefs. Uh, I had friends in passing in other jobs that drove trucks, drove garbage trucks, and different trucks I'm friends with, so not everybody's like this, but there is a really ugly, fucking ugly ass culture, and it even dovetails everything from boredom to really filthy shit, and then for running things across state lines and across country borders that really the government should, could, if they weren't taking payments, could shut these people down. But I'm going to try to make a case here, bear, bear with me here too. That inside these trucks, you know, you know, people have all their belongings out, and these people, okay, 
evidently somebody said we had to be there and they wanted me to keep you to keep going there. But somebody else, you could tell they didn't want to even fucking want you there. And I'm trying to make my case that because of a very sick ass ugly culture, uh, you're told to vacuum trucks. And even if it's not the drivers of the trucks that people doing this maintenance, somebody doesn't even want no strangers being brought in and vacuuming these trucks even though all belongings are out of there. And all that tough too. That much, okay. But what I'm leading up to is gang slander. Is this is shit you got to get the fuck away from right away? And some of the worst I've ever seen. I mean, a couple of us, you know, certain kind of weird jokes. A couple of us had we were friends uh, making weird jokes. You know, what I mean, too. It's okay, you and me, or a couple of us together watching this video. If we knew each other. There were. I had a couple friends that. You know, we were putting away lumber, you know, and there's no other people present that would be offended. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, like a small joke like that, uh, oh, any lumber that we uh, get from the shipment before 12 noon is considered morning wood. You know, uh, that, you know, harmless little jokes like that. But this other so-called joking people, dude, you got to watch is, <laughs> I took so long to lead up to this, that with these gang slander, what they do. That people know right away, when you get into little jobs like this, people are eyeing you up, whether it's a warehouse or construction. You can tell right away what groups, you know, the same color as you, or, or uh, the same color, or the opposite color of you, or the, which are gonna get along with which ones that are fucking idiots, you know, too. Uh, whether you're black or white watching. Um, so uh, these people were saying, just weird ass fucked up shit out of nowhere joking that I mean I'm making weird gestures like this about you making reference to using a meth or different things like that or even to somebody being making meth to homosexuality and just laughing in your face saying like they're joking and asking you weird ass questions and then uh, and out of nowhere say we're yeah you're vacuuming a truck you're washing the little windows because they're getting maintenance going on and a guy goes out of nowhere, uh, man, I saw you, you were sniffing and licking the seats of that truck. What are you sniffing for uh, some kind of weird fetish or something? Just with this look on her face and a ton of weird ass perverse things like they're joking and saying that you're this or that. And this would, this is shit that make any other internet troll out there that might be watching would and should run the fuck away because unlike anybody uh if you're next to people like that i'd like being behind a computer uh, if you're like an inner troll where you're not just behind a computer you're around that shit man get the fuck away from meredith because people do this shit on purpose and i told my agency it's like uh this kind of sh this stuff ain't don't go with me i'm out of here i'm bailing because you know send me to another assignment because it's said will anyway and they wanted to ask if I could finish out the week. I tell them, look, there was nothing even in here in the job description. And these people were acting like this. And I said, I'm trying to do respectable things for charities. Even though I swear and make say, do crazy things on my uh, YouTube here, I do some things for charity, you know, next to people that are both black and white for holidays. And I said, I said, this, I said, this is a dangerous, toxic environment. There's shit that people are saying that uh, you ever ever have? Do you ever after have to use a, uh, a quote or say to somebody, "Hey, come on now, I got a sense of humor, but don't be saying that shit." That's how rumors get started, you know. And you have people deliberately saying this shit with smirks on their face. And uh, well, I anyway, I made a comeback joke when they were saying that, and I said, "Well, geez, no bones of dead, dead bodies or any kind of other stuff that somebody might be doing in there." And, uh, but at the same time, I'm in my own mind, I know this, that just going that culture, you're in the truck's vacuum and they make, and people, the people have, and this, this is a very ugly culture, and there's good reasons where not all truck drivers are bad, that they make sure any kind of things are taken out of there and personal belongings are taken out of there for good reason. And I think that they're very, I don't want to say paranoid people, they say things like they're joking. These ain't just jokes. There's a thing like, well, it's, a, it's a, these are threats under the guise of jokes and they're smickering at you that 
give us an excuse and we'll say you're damn near anything, you know what I mean? And buddies will back you up. And it's also a, some of them are cordial when they're trying to get you to do something. It's like when you're going to go do uh, whatever little work you're doing, but you could tell. It's also in a situation like it, you're not really welcome there. Somebody said that you had to be there and and, and uh, they wanted somebody to dare to do this stuff and all that. They don't care. You're not really welcome there. Somebody said, somebody above them said that they wanted you there. And somebody would rather not have anybody for a lot of good reasons, even though they have to take all their belongings out, whoever the hell else it is, even the people that are not the drivers. There's good reasons you're not welcome there. They don't really like you, and they, they can see this dirty, really fucked up shit. Uh, they don't want you smelling anything or seeing anything, and, and you're not sniffing or licking any seats, but yet you're crawling around with that shot back. Know, kind of it's you know doing a shot back and all that find a quarter and oh quarter and nickel yeah just get a couple of those you know I uh, thought that you need the money but hey throw that in the vending machine get yourself a Mountain Dew later or something like that um, then you almost want to joke make a joke say hey my local police uh, uh, fired their uh, canines their police dogs and they're training to crawl around and zoo. But anyway, even though people act like this, like you're not welcome, it's not just jokes. At the same time, they're afraid. They don't want no strangers, outside contractors, workers, or uh, on assignment, that whom they do not know, or they don't even have to like, or they don't have to have no respect for. You know what I'm saying? Either they don't. You know, these are people that they don't have no real respect for anything. It's like literally gang slander. And even though it's just that place, you go on to another assignment, these people know each other, and once they start knowing you by name, you know, and you say one smart thing for any reason, man, it just, that last person that's there, spread it around, and stuff can reach outside. Which some of you people that watch the videos about, or uh, make videos about the gang stalking, uh, they literally want to make, say, really bad shit. They're, these people, and any of people that are somewhat religious is uh, that tolerated a lot of the craziness that on my channel that's uh, with heavy metal music and fitness that tolerate me or whatever and that you believe in God saying these people are the devil. Yes, I absolutely if I could agree with this is the way evil this is the way evil spreads. It these uh at the same time, these businesses are responsible for all the food you buy at Walmart all over the place. But at the same time, it spreads a very ugly, disgusting culture. And there are some reasons that certain police do not like certain of them and all that, but they allow some of it to, I don't know, some, somebody hire them between state lines to take bribes. And it dovetails into running of drugs, which any of you guys that smoke a joint now and then, you know, I mean, to uh, listen to a little Led Zepp or, or uh, listen to some reggae or something. You don't want nothing to do with uh, buying any shit from some of these people or these fucking... Uh, any of you guys know what some of this other shit that's become an epidemic now? Um, they may, they may have even shut, shut entire trucking companies down over this shit, but not just drugs. They got uh, all kind of damn activities to shame on certain people. Marry these married men are getting involved in and everything else too. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, anyway, if you watch this long enough, and if you like or dislike me for my takes on this uh, Alistair Crowley type beast type stuff, my disagreement, the way I, my version of it, I'll tell you guys something, some of you that take on this stupid ass, these uh, stupid ass beliefs and you're living with your parents, right, and if you're watching this, your dysfunctional parents say maybe your father or stepfather is a truck driver and you know fucking well that uh, he's in this culture, you know, too, and uh, your father or stepdad fight or whatever. Your father, your mother and stepfather fight. I mean, your mother and father fight. 
and you know you you get along somewhat with them but okay you're behind a computer you're taking on these beliefs here's a, another version of a beast a very ugly beast it's a beast that's in this culture this is the kind of beast you don't want nothing to do with and I will do a whole video on how this evil spreads and there's a type of evil um, it's like these people are basically um, animals you know but I say I, I like your Alistair Crowley beliefs that you know that you rebel against mommy and daddy that screams and change books and read the Bible uh, there's other kinds of beasts out there that the way I would rather see it is to be able to physically overcome if you want to take a walk on some rough terrain, a little bit of uh, some kind of yoga mixed with other things and not just sitting around in some computer, some stupid ass belief that's no better uh, that's no better than the shit you're rebelling against. But yeah, like if you, you got this far in this video, if you're like that Alistair Crowley shit, right, rebelling against mommy daddy for other reasons. In a way, I understand where some of you to take on these beliefs got these dysfunctional families and your father, stepbrother is in this culture and then some of these kids that trying to find shelter in these other beliefs, they're not old enough to get out of the house and get a job to afford a place to live yet and they got to deal with that. So they're trying to find shelter in some weird other belief. What the fuck you do when your internet goes down and there's no internet anymore? Or like Henry Rollins actually said too, there's no us against them, it's you against them. I'm one of them. So is your best friend. All you have is you, and who is that, you know? But, um, so this, this is kind of dovetailing into some of like that. There's another disgusting animal out there that's uh, very, dis it's very disgusting. And if you're not with that, I mean, that, you know, you get cased out right off, off the bat, you know, and people decide. It's no different. It's far worse than a bunch of school kids. But yet some of your school kids you went to school with, if they get occupations are like that. Jesus Christ, you know what I mean? Uh, like people that never grew up or whatever do. And these and this, and there was maintenance there. Some of these places are better than others, but... Uh, Yet, their companies, some better than others, are just with these people with these different mentalities, yet they're responsible for all the shipping all the way around the country. Why you, why you eat your food at Walmart? And has a, and they have a lot to do with the, with the price of food and different things going up or down. And the government could put regu deregulate them heavily or deregulate them heavily. And, they're subject to certain laws, but at the same time, uh, across state borders and all kind of things, there's a very really ugly culture that's a mixture of all kind of stuff. You know what I mean, too. And there's people out there in a way too, like uh, okay, my version of a collapse that can happen, whether you're religious or not. That if people want to act like this, like I'm explaining to you, unlike the nicer ones, you know what I mean, and all like that. People with this mentality, okay, like if you watch a movies like The Road or like if you're not like a diehard Christian with that G-rated left behind, that really is nowhere near what it's going to be like. You know, you get some ugly truths out there. Say you get a collapse or a partial collapse. There are some of these fuckers out there with these mentalities that if you believe in a religion that like a revelation that so much of the world is going to die of some kind of disease like in the Holy Bible. But even without the Holy Bible and atheists you can see politics that should, could be cropping up. But anyway, what I'm trying to basically say is uh, these some of these fuckers out there uh, with a mentality like that, they're the ones that they want to be like that. They deserve to die of freaking disease if something if it's caused by something else. But the only trouble is that is it can get to you and me. You know what I mean too. That, which could happen. Everybody worries about. You know what I mean you see all over the place. But, but since some of them are, have a lifestyle where they're literally the spreader and carrier of God knows what, this is a part of whether you're religious or not. Uh, 
because I'm into a lot of other things and my stuff's about preparing for collapses and stuff. And I watch prepper videos too. I'm not just your ordinary Joe here and try to tell you what to watch out for. Um, everything, yeah, it has a lot to do with economic collapse. You know why? Because of individuals, groups, and people who are responsible for all the shipping lanes and it dovetails into the money. Yes, it has a lot to do with how diseases and everything else get spread across state borders or even across south of the border or north of the border, back and forth. People that are, in a lot of ways, have been very shameful people, not just gang slanders if they want to be like that. Literally, they're just could be the spread of diseases and they could be one of the ones causing the disease. And they deserve to fucking die of them, put it that way, you know what I mean? Too, and, it's, and if that shit gets to that, it's too, and it ends up having to it find its way to the rest of the population. So, some of these people want to be that way. They're, in a way, they could be a, uh, a bigger health risk than a national health risk and all that, you know. Uh, but you got to wonder if the CD, how much of the CDC is uh, studying and in a statistic, you know what I mean? If you were somebody that has strong convictions and religious beliefs and you happen to drive trucks and drive certain places, you have some good sense to, you know, humor certain people, but stay the fuck away from some of these people. Even if you don't like my swearing a little bit, but, uh, and there's also reasons too, like if anybody that's ever drove truck or traveled and you see it, that's ever seen some of the shit on YouTube, like there's needles and different shit on beaches and different shit, way, the way people get their money, uh, how that shit is getting epidemic. And if you have to fit things collapse, almost like the movies, uh, the first places you'd want to stay the hell away from too would be these tent communities and there's going to be all needles there. I've seen all these other documentaries too. I'm not getting off the subject of these other countries even too, these um, groups of people, how that's getting. If it gets like that in their movies, you would want to stay away from them encampments because it's not just, they're not just survival. They all, they're because of drugs and every kind of things. And these people that, make their living driving, some of them don't give a fuck, you know, their own self-servingness, whether they want to get a disease or unwillingly spread it, and they want around that. Very self-serving individuals is in mentality, and at the same time, they want to justify their filthy behavior by engaging in gang slander uh, of total strangers, you know, too, and making them very unwelcoming. These people don't fucking think you know. Uh... Or they know what the, what the world is headed for, you know, and uh, the kind of shit that they condone. and Almost like devils, they know they're going to have their last days when they're at, that all catches up to them when they get old, you know. Um, 